PFL. How do my granddaughters do? Amazing, always like super epic ready to ready to take on any endeavor really oh yeah she she'll try everything oh yeah, yeah. i know yeah. last week it was just her and i on the video and oh, so wow. yep oh. and so we worked on uh full splits and also into handstand variations with splits and handstand yes. into flipping over into a full back bend and standing up yeah. and just yeah yeah yes and like 40 arm balances it was pretty it was like a flow yeah. two three undoubtedly uh, I, i'm gonna take her sometime when they have to the two three on saturday oh absolutely um, she would love it yeah. yeah yeah i'm gonna wait till they're they're either back bends or handstands yeah when it yeah so that she's doing those things as opposed to anything else. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I've been yeah. trying to put a lot more of that into the kids' classes because I know... Well, they, they won't all be like that. Some of no. the kids will be, you know, beginners. Totally. She, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, she is super strong. It's uh yeah, incredibly strong. Yeah. 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 But it's true. Um, I, what weights should I have? I've got fives and tens. Do I need twos? Um, I don't think you'll need twos. What I have right now are fives, fifteens, a ten, just in case. Okay. And then we'll see what props everyone has as they roll in and sure. we'll base it on that. I have the fun thing planned for us, so we'll see. We'll see what props we have. If not, most of the stuff can be done without stuff too. So good. Yep. And if people have the bands, on. cool. Hey, Felicity. So I, will, I will mute. Okay. And then also for both of you, if there's any music that you would really enjoy for this, um feel free, something like rhythmic and upbeat. I can always share playlists with you guys, but really what works best is just finding something with good rhythm for the fitness classes. Um, Felicity, how's it going? I'm gonna take, Felicity, I'm gonna take you off of mute for a second. Hi, we're good, how are you? Really good. So around gathering stuff. It looks like we have some fun with weights. Yeah. So I was gonna check in. Do you guys have weights there? So I have some hand weights, a kettlebell, and some um bands. Okay, great. So as far as bands go, is it like the circular band? <laughs> Okay, great. So we're going to use just this circular one today and then lighter weights and heavier weights. Okay. And that should be it. Great. I'll make sure I got, have everything. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Hey, Melissa, how's it going? I don't know. How so? Uh, Melissa, I don't think you have microphone. Oh, there we go. It's turning on. So I'm going to unmute you for a second. Hey, Melissa, how's it going? Okay, so as everyone is rolling in, just a few props that I want to make sure that people have. So let me know. Um, if you have a circular resistance band that's awesome if not it's okay and then some five pounders or a lighter set of weights and a heavier set of weights that's going to be aside from our body everything that we need today okay 
Okay. And also for music, um, so what we found is the music doesn't really translate well if I put it from my computer, even if we do the share screen. Um, there's still some glitches. So if there is music that you're like, hey, this is upbeat, that's gonna get me going, feel free. Um, sometimes I'll play a lot of Odessa, really great little channel on like YouTube music or Spotify or anything. Okay, cool. So, we ready to get started, everyone? Yeah, okay, cool. So, we're going to start with just some warm up. So, come to standing at the front of your mat, separate your feet to hips distance, and with an inhale, reach your arms up high to the sky, and exhale, complete fold takes you down to the earth. Walk your hands up your legs, half lift to really lengthen out and exhale to let it go entirely. Bend into your right knee, walk your hands outside of your right foot and look slightly over your right hip so that you get a deep stretch on the whole left side body. And walk your hands through center, bend your left knee, lengthen your right, walk your hands outside of your left foot. This is going to be helpful for our curtsy squats later. So looking over the left shoulder and coming back through center. Separate your feet so wide that they're just off the edges of the mat. Bend into your right knee. Grab a hold for your left foot. Look over your left shoulder. and walk the hands through center. This time bend the left knee. This is Skandasana variation. Hands onto the blade edge of the right foot. Look over your right shoulder as you pull the left hip back. And let's come back through center. Heel toe the feet towards each other. Arms to a T. Lift up through standing. Just a little bit more warm up. So right arm across. Hook it into your left elbow. Keep the shoulders on your back and slide your left arm down your right forearm. And arms to a T, swap that out. So right elbow hooks the left arm, sliding down the left arm, shoulders stay on the back and let it go. Shoulders roll back and then inhale arms to the sky and let's fold all the way to the earth. Root your hands down and step back into down dog. Since it's our first down dog, pedal through your feet left and right, because this one is used for getting our circulation into a full, full range. Okay, so we're gonna do pyramid push-ups right from here. So what that means is your elbows are gonna go wide, you're gonna bring your head directly down towards your thumbs, and then push back. So let's find, how about 12 of those? So 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Push it right back into down dog, then turn your heels in towards each other. Push your hips back towards your heels like a frog and then pounce into plank pose. And then push back, accordioning like a frog, and forward. Let's go through that 10 more times. Push back, and the heart pounces. Scrunch back, and find that extension. The last eight, seven, six, finding fluidity in motion, five, Final four, three, two, and land in plank. Draw your right knee in, step it back, left knee in. Mountain climbers for 20 seconds. Going as fast or slow as you want to. Halfway through. Last six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Push to a down dog. And let's lower down to the knees. Root the hands down in table and extend your right leg long back behind you. So let's find a lift, a kickback. And then from that space, push up. Then kick back and push up. Alternating between the two. The leg stays lifted the whole time. Let's find another five, four, three, two, and hold it up on one, just through center. And we're gonna push the foot towards the left like a TikTok, then through center, right knee to right tricep. Kick it back, adductor push across, and knee to elbow. Let's find another six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna stay with this leg, but we're gonna switch up the movement after one. So bring the leg back long. Bring your left arm forward, spinal balance. Then tuck elbow and knee together. Inhale to lengthen. Now listen close. Right knee to hover, left elbow like a robot arm. Both lift out to the sides. Then through center, lengthen long. Find a curl and round elbow and knee together. Inhale, lengthen, hover and push out to the sides. Let's find another six like that. So length first, Velcro in, lengthen, hover, push out. Let's find another five. Methodical with the motion, training the brain as much as the body. Last four. Last three. Two. Last one. Okay, release the hand, release the knee. Grab a hold for one of your lighter weights into the right hand. And we're just gonna do lat draws. So pull the elbow up by the side and lower. Pull back and lower. Pause at the top point for about one to two seconds. Let's find another seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the weight and let's take that all over to the other side. So, left leg back first. We kick back and then push up through table. Lift the leg, heel kick back and push up. We'll find another 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then keep it lifted, pull it across towards the right, then all the way knee to the left tricep. Kick it back, tick tock, pass center and knee to tricep. Let's find another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, last 
four, three, two, and one. Okay, then leg directly back. Let's bring the right arm forward, spinal balance, elbow and knee tuck together. Lengthen forward and back, then bring it to a hover, 90, 90 degree. Elbow out, knee out. Center, lengthen, curl in, lengthen, hover, pull to the corners. Let's find another six like that. Lengthen, Velcro in, stretch long, hover, pull out. Center, lengthen. We're on last five. Finding your rhythm, letting the brain move with us. Last three. Final two. Last full round. Lengthen first. Right hand releases down. And let your left knee down. Grab the five pounder with the left hand. Root down with the right. And lap pull backs. For 10, 9, 8. Pausing at the top point. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so let's let go of the lighter weights and heavier weight now. So we're gonna come on to kneeling on the knees and grab hold for just one heavier weight to start. So, Holding the weight into both hands, we're gonna bring it around the head so that the elbows are up by the ears. Shoulders on the back, integrate the core, and let's get 20 lifts. Tricep overhead pull. We have 15 more. Keep the elbows by the parietal lobes of the brain. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swing it all the way around. Let's take it into the right hand. So this is some of just dealt. Okay, so this is one of my absolute favorites that we're getting into this kneeling series. So first we're going to start right with this in front of the heart. We're going to first sit low and notice how that creates energy in the glutes. So with toes untucked, sit back and lift. Sit back and lift. So we're gonna bring this into a 45 degree push out. And then as we lift, it comes to heart. 45 degree forward and back to heart. So let's find another, oh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one. Okay, grab a hold for the weight into your right hand. Let's step the right foot forward. So you want 90-90 in the legs, left hand behind the head. So tricep extension with the right arm is gonna happen as you bring left elbow across. So left elbow to right thigh, right arm tricep extension. 
through center. We come across, push back. Let's find six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, switch the weight into your left hand. Everything else stays the same. Right hand behind the head. Left hand right against the outer hip with the weight. Right elbow, right hip, and center. Let's find another seven, six, five, four, last three, two, and one. Okay, right leg is gonna come back, both knees down. Right hand behind the head still. And we're gonna do just one here. So right elbow, right hip. Then come back through center and we're gonna switch this up and get all around the world of the core. So weight out of 45 in front of your left outer thigh. Right elbow is gonna reach back for your right hip from behind. So it's a 45 degree angle twist, accessing different musculature of the core. So let's find another five, four, three, two, and one. That's for that low back core. Now let's come back through center as though we were between two planes of glass. And right elbow to right thigh for seven, six. That left weight is lifting with you and lowering. Three, two, one. Now turn so that the weight is at a 45 degree back, elbow 45 forward. It's like you're bringing your ribs to your hip bone, right elbow, reaching forward towards your right hip crease. Seven six, five, four, hopefully we're feeling that one, three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna keep the weight in that hand, left foot steps forward. So I know this is some intense core work. Uh, right hand behind the head, right elbow across, left arm, tricep pull back. Let's go for seven, Six, five, four, last three, two, one. Through center, take the weight over into the right hand again. Left hand behind the head, left elbow, left hip for seven, six, five, really feeling the side crunch for three, two, and one. The only thing that changes, left knee back in line with right. This way we get the lower side core, so left elbow, left outer thigh. Through center, that's just for setup. So let's take the weight forward, tilt 45 degrees over to the left and left elbow right to the left glute for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then side center, left elbow right to the left hip. I promise we'll be off the knees quite soon for seven, six, five, four, last three, elbow to hip, two, and one. Now the weight slightly back, elbow rotated 45 forward. Elbow to hip crease, pulling rib cage right to the hip bone for six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so bring the weight into both hands, hands are interlaced, and rather than sitting back into it, we're going to lean back and rather than that 45 push, we're gonna push directly forward. 
So push and pull the weight to you as you lift. This is gonna engage more the deep core muscles. Pulling back and forward. Let's get another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, come on up through center. Let's let that weight go to the side for a second. And we're gonna come through to seated. So I know it seems like we're seated. It's gonna be a pause, but not really at all. So let's come right onto the hands behind us. And we're gonna bring the knees up into a hover like table. Then pull back, lengthen to a hover lower onto your forearms, lift to the hands, draw the knees in. Lower back, hover, and draw the knees in. Let's find another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw the knees in. Now we're going to take that side to side. So lean back into your upper body to the left. Push your legs out to the right to hover. Center onto the hands. Legs to the left. Lower onto the forearms to the right. Center. Let's get another seven both sides. I like to point the toes, but notice what feels best for your hip flexors. Last four, three, two, the last one, both sides. Then through center, come back onto your forearms, lift the legs, bring them down to the left corner of your mat, up through center, over to the right. High up through center to the left, center to the right. Let's find another four, both sides. Last one, both sides. And knees through center, lower back all the way onto your back. And we're gonna bring the arms wide to a T and we're gonna tick tock the legs side to side. So if it feels best to do with bent knees, bent knee variation, knees to elbow. Long leg variation, toes to thumb. And let's just go for about five to seven each side. And after your final one, let's flip all the way over and we're gonna meet right in down dog. So hands plant and we step it back to down dog. On your inhale, round forward into plank pose. Keep both hands rooted, really important here. Heels to the left side. Accordion back, push your hips towards your heels. And then side plank. And push back, accordioning the legs. And let's do that for seven, six. You feel the tightening of the obliques. Last four, three, two, one, through center. Heels to the right, both hands stay rooted, hips low to the heels. Eight, to side plank. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Through center, flip your heels to the left, lower your left hip down. With this cross in the legs, push your hips over to the left, push into your hands. Should give you a tiny little nice stretch. Then come back through plank, flip the heels to the right, lower the hips down, push into the hands, push the hips away from you, out to the right. And through center, plank center. Heels to the left, side push up. Through center to the right, side push up. And center push up. Right back into a down dog. And walk your feet forward to the front, hips distance, hands to heart. And let's come up through standing. So grab a hold for your lighter weights. We're gonna get into deltoids and calves simultaneously. So standing with the feet forward first. This is gonna really test our balance. So feet parallel, weights in front of you. You're gonna lift up onto the toes, arms forward, then right out to a T, lower the heels as the arms come down. Out and up through the sides, lift to the ball mounds, forward and lower. So we're gonna move through that several times, noticing where are the points of balance and where you feel muscular engagement. Where does it feel like you can tie and thread together even more for fortifying transformation, transition, motion? So after your calves and arms start to feel pretty on fire, probably now to very soon, next time arms are at the sides, Turn your heels in like we did in down dog in the beginning, toes out, like ballet dancer, like bar. And arms are gonna come out at 45. So we just did I's and T's, these are Y's. So it's a 45 degree angle. And we lift high onto the toes and lower. Let's find another 10, nine, eight, Make sure it's even angles of the arms, right at the 45. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, slowly let go of your, uh, actually let's keep these lighter weights. If you wanna do the heavier weights, you're absolutely welcome to. But we're going to be doing some squats and biceps simultaneously. So wide squat is our starting point. This one is a bit challenging, but really fun. So we're going to do a hammerhead curl with a regular squat. And we're going to come up, lift onto the toes. And from this space, hammerhead toe squat lift, let the heels down, step your right foot back, Arnold curl your right arm in, center, regular with regular bicep curl, left foot behind, curtsy squat, left hand coming in, Arnold curl, center, regular squat, toes, hammerhead curl as you squat, through center, Step left, right in curl, center, regular bicep curl. Curtsy squat, side curl, center, hammerhead toe curl. And out to the left, center, to the right, center, Hammerhead toe squat. And let's get two more full rounds. This is counting as one officially. Now, last two. Good. 
last hammerhead toe curl and curtsy center curtsy center okay let go of the weights and standing centered on the mat hands at heart step your right foot back right hand taps left toes through center and over to the other side so left fingers right toes center and back and forth we're going to go for 20 seconds as fast or slow as you want to take it speed skaters last 10 seconds And let's come back through center standing. We're gonna do some forward and back uh, 90 degree squats. So stand right in the center of your mat, hands at heart, right foot steps back, bend low, step into the left foot, right foot forward, bend low, step it back, and we're gonna do another three on this side. Last two on this side. And one on this side. Feet together. Left foot steps back, bend low. Lift, step it forward, get low. Let's find another three. two, last one, and feet together. So let's grab a hold for one of the heavier weights again. So we're going to do twisted curtsy squats. So weight in front of the heart, center squat first, then right foot back, Right elbow to left thigh. Center. Left elbow, right thigh. And center. Let's find another six. Both sides. And five. Last four, you're doing epic. Three, two, and one. Last one, both sides. And through center, release your weight. Okay, bring your band with you. And we're gonna come on to the back. Quick time check, cool. So we're gonna grab the band, put it around the ball, uh, sorry, around the shoelace area of both feet. We're gonna lay back first and directly upwards 15 to 25 times you choose one inch lift of the hips we're not trying to move the feet forward and back simply up engaging into the lowest part of the core you can always do this with like a book on the feet a block on the feet And then let's bring the hands underneath the sides of the tush. Up through center, pull the legs wide out apart and back towards each other. Then bring it down about, oh, 25 degrees, 30 degrees. Pull out, lower it another third of the way. 
pull out, hover, pull the feet apart, lift up 30 degrees, pull outwards, lift another 30, pull outwards, to the sky, pull outwards. So let's do that, oh, another five to seven times. And this is working the legs as well as the core. I'm sure you feel it already. If it's not getting the glutes too, let me know. and right through center. So this one is pretty different. It combines happy baby with getting into the adductors and abductors. So bring your forearms on your inner knees, maybe wrists, and you're going to assistedly push the knees wide and together, wide and together. So make sure your knees are decently close to like a reverse tabletop to start. We're going to get this at a few different angles. So let's find another six, push out for five, four, three, two. Hopefully you feel your abductors right on the outer sides. So now lower about 30 degrees, just the fingers right against the knees and pull out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, draw the knees in. Come on up through to seated. Okay, so we can let our band go for a second. And let's grab a hold for our weights again. So bring both weights over into your right hand. If you want to use just one, that's totally fine. We're going to get rotator cuff. So I like to use one hand either on the base of the ribs or front of the shoulder or just core to stabilize. You're simply going to keep the elbow in by the side, slow rotation in towards you and out away from you. Let's find another seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slow switch over to the other hand. Stabilize first, find alignment, and then inwards to outwards. Elbow stays connected to the side the whole time so that it's stabilized motion. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Separate the weights apart and bring them right in front of heart center. Then extend forward, then slightest bend in the elbows. Pull wide out to the sides, back through center to heart, forward out to the sides. Now option, as you bring it into heart, sit low, lift, open, together, pull back, sit low, lift, open wide, together, inwards, forward, outwards. Let's find another six, five, four, Final three, two, and one. Pull out, bring it together. Okay, let your weights go. And let's slide back onto the sits bones. We're gonna get deeper into the core. So let's find boat pose to start. 
reverse table the legs hold behind the thighs you can pause their arms by the sides you can lift the legs lengthen the crown and then let's bring it right into reverse table legs palms together hovering right on your sits bones left elbow taps right elbow taps let's go to 15 to 20 both sides Palms stay in front of the heart so that the rotation is coming from the core. Find your last few both sides and through center. Okay, so let's grab a hold for the band again and we're gonna place it back around the ball mounds of the feet. So we're going to add in to what we were just doing we're going to start with legs up above us, hands behind, tap up to the toes, then lower back, bring the feet wide, tap up to the band, feet together, tap up, feet wide, tap the band. Let's find another 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, final five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bend the knees, swing up through seated. Let's move the strap to the side. We're gonna use our weights one more time here. So we're gonna grab lighter weights and at first bring them by your heart. Then we're gonna bring the heel ends of it right in front of the forehead. We're gonna open wide and lift overhead. Then pull, lat pull. Curl the elbows in, broaden, and lift. Let's find another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, last one, through heart center, and let your weights go to the side. Awesome, so let's sit back onto the heels, reach your arms up overhead, bend your right elbow, grab a hold for the elbow, and push your head and your forearm together behind you tricep stretch sorry tricep and also traps trapezius stretch and arms up to the sky bend the left elbow catch a hold for it push the forearm and the head together and arms to the sky slowly let them go roll the shoulders back and let's swing off onto the sits bones so pretty cool tool that we have here is that we have weights with us. So we're gonna use these a little bit to open up the body. So right against your right hip, right behind the leg bone, right where it attaches to the hip socket, we're going to lay, we're gonna put the head of the weight right against that area. And you're gonna rock your knees towards that side it should feel like, oh my God, what is she making us do right now? This is actually connective tissue release, which is creating greater levels of interstitium fluidity. So this fluid layer between connective tissue layers that then 
allows for there to be more optimization of fluids for the immune system, for the lymph system. Slowly come back through center. Take the weight out, you'll realize that hip feels like extra awesome. So let's take the weight over to the right hip, right into that same space. As you rock, so right behind the leg bone, and rock over to the right side, or same side as the weight is. And it should be creating that really awesome pressure relief. And slowly bring it back through center and release off of the weight. And draw the knees in. Let's rock up through seated. Come on to all fours and bring one weight with you. So just a five pounder. Right leg back and just like those adductor pushes we were doing before, step your right foot this time down out to the left to the corner. Walk your hands to the left and that weight is in the right hand. Stretch your right hand forward at a diagonal to the left side of the mat. Push through your right foot, should give you a nice side body stretch. And slowly roll that weight towards you as you come back through center. And switch the weight hand, left leg back long, step it to the right, walk the hands to the right, left hand slides forward at an angle. Push into the back foot, deep side body stretch and roll it in towards you and let's come through center. So let's open into the shoulders. So slowly lower down onto the navel. And I know you guys know this one. We do this a lot in studio. So right arm out at a 90, walk it to the right, step your left foot behind you. Maybe left hand stays, maybe over the shoulder, maybe parallel back. And as you're ready, through center, switch sides, left arm out, right knee bends, step it behind you. Right hand can stay, it can lift over shoulder, it can parallel back. And as you're ready, slowly come back through center. And let's come back onto the heels, drawing back to seated. Hands walk behind you, find a lift up into the heart. Deep breath in, exhale it all out. Pull the shoulders deeper back and then come back through center space. Let's swing, actually, let's lower right down onto the navel. Left forearm diagonal, bend your right knee, catch a hold for your right foot, draw it towards you, stretching out the quad, hips parallel towards the front, and right leg releases, right forearm diagonal, left hand, left foot, draw it towards you, hips towards parallel. and slowly let the leg go. Then knees together, tight knee child's pose. So knees stay together, folding in. You can pause there if you would like to. You can come up halfway, interlace the hands, and this is anchor pose. Lifting the arms away from you feels really good, and the forehead relaxing. And bring the hands through the low back, all the way down to the earth. Let's lift up through seated, spin the legs around all the way. Lengthen them forward, arms reach forward, lower right back onto the back. Then gather the knees in towards you. 
curl up towards your knees. Give yourself that embrace. And then let everything go. Let everything release. For as much strength and effort, may there be equal, if not more, peace within. Please feel free to stay in Shavasana and let your practice absorb as long as you can today. And if you're ready to return, then breathe so deeply that the body feels invigorated in every molecule, every fiber, feels refreshed, awakened. Breathe so deeply, the fingers and toes twist and turn and extend and round. And maybe a full body stretch. And when you're ready, gather the knees in, hold to that space of center. And when you're ready, rock up through to seated and we'll meet with the palms together in front of heart center. Thank you guys so much for being the strong, peaceful warriors, for coming to practice, for being present with yourself, with each other, within community. It's really a blessing to be able to connect in this way. So thank you so much. The light in my heart bows deeply with gratitude, joy, and honor for the incredible, brilliant light that you bring to life. To that we share and offer and say, namaste. Thank you, Danny. Thank you guys. Hope everyone's feeling good. Um, yeah, how's every, I'm gonna unmute everyone. Okay, how's everyone feeling? Pretty good? Very good. Good. That was very, very good. Thank you. Totally. So Thank you guys. I think we got pretty strong together. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, also, uh, South Glen tonight at seven, I'm doing myofascial relief. So that little thing we did with the weight and the hip, 75 minutes of that tonight. It's going to be really fun. Um, and also have your kids come to Kids Yoga Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1.30, guys. Um, cool. Any questions about anything? Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.